interesting. Alrighty folks, today I'm going to be showing you a little bit about my fuel setup. A couple of people have asked me how it's run. It's just easier to make a video versus typing it down. So obviously with the Speed 6, you have a saddlebag set up for the fuel tank. So the fuel pump actually sits on the driver's side under the back seat. Whereas if you had a Speed 3, it would be on the passenger side. Here I have a dirty water racing or shed built Hellcat pump set up. So it is a modified basket and top hat with a TI Automotive 525 liter per hour pump. Um, basically what we're doing here, and I have mine set up, or I asked Pat to set mine up a little bit different than how he was making them for everybody else. So I am using the stock return, or the stock feed rather, as a return, and using a Stash 6 bulkhead to run a 6AN PTFE line for the feed. So basically what we have here is from the bulkhead to a 90 degree fitting running a 6AN PTFE line and that is running under the car alongside the brake lines utilizing the stock brake line clips to hold the line under the car. And then keep in mind this is temporary because the plan was to drop a built motor in here last summer when this was all set up. So not everything's so tidy in here, but that 6AN feed line runs all the way under the car, comes up into the engine bay where I have it basically feeding a Russell distribution block or a Y fitting. So it's 6AN in and dual dash six out. So with that, one line is coming out of the distribution block and running to the high pressure fuel pump to feed that. The other line is coming all the way over and feeding the passenger side of the port injection rail. Driver side of the port injection rail has my Aeromotive fuel pressure regulator, which does have its boost reference hooked up. And then out the bottom for the return, I'm actually running a 6AN PTFE line up over the trans and it goes to where the stock feed line would come out from the firewall. So essentially I'm utilizing the entire stock feed system as a return and running my own feed line via a dash six PTF feed line, E85 safe, so on and so forth. Now, one thing to note with this setup is because I have a Speed 6 and it's all-wheel drive, it has a saddlebag type uh, fuel tank. So with that, what's important is since you can't use the internal regulator with the Hellcat pump, you have to find a way to suck fuel from the passive side or the passenger side of the tank over to the active side. So tied to my return, there is a hose that comes down and in between, there's a radium venturi, which is using suction off of the return to siphon fuel from the other side to the side of the basket. And I'll edit in a couple pictures of the pump and the venturi setup if I have them, so you guys can see that. On a Speed 3, you're not going to need to do that. But for the Speed 6 guys, it is important. And then just a couple other things. Uh, feeding my port injection, we have four Bosch 2200 CC injectors and obviously the four channel split second controller. Well, hopefully that's helpful to you guys. Thank you and I'll see you soon.